On October 15, 2024, the Polish Ministry of Defense announced a key milestone in the nation's naval modernization efforts with the commencement of construction on the sixth and final Cormoran II-class mine countermeasure vessel, MCMV. A ceremonial steel-cutting event at the Gdansk shipyard marked the start of this vessel, which is part of Poland's Project 258, a plan to enhance the country's maritime security and mine warfare capabilities. The Cormoran II-class MCMVs are critical for the Polish Navy, particularly for operations in the Baltic Sea, where the detection and neutralization of sea mines remain a significant strategic concern. These modern vessels will bolster Poland's ability to protect its coastline, secure sea lanes, and contribute to broader regional stability. The Cormoran II-class ships are purpose-built to detect, classify, and neutralize naval mines. This capability allows them to clear safe passages for other vessels and conduct reconnaissance in mine-threatened areas. The vessels feature several advanced technologies that give the Polish Navy a competitive edge in mine warfare, a growing concern in littoral environments like the Baltic Sea. Key design features of the Cormoran II class include non-magnetic hulls, made from specialized steel to reduce the ship's vulnerability to magnetic mines, advanced sonar and mine hunting systems, equipped with the SHL-101-TM and SHL-300 sonars for detecting underwater threats and the Saab Double Eagle remotely operated vehicle ROV for neutralizing mines. Stealth capabilities. These vessels incorporate stealth features to reduce their radar cross-section, making them harder to detect by enemy forces. Self-defense armament. The Polish-made OSU-35K naval gun provides defensive capability against air and surface threats. Each Cormoran II ship is approximately 58.5 meters long, displaces around 850 tons, and can reach speeds of up to 15 knots, offering both agility and endurance for mine countermeasure operations. The lead vessel of the class, ORP Cormoran, was commissioned in 2017, with ORP Albatros and ORP MUA joining the fleet in 2022 and 2023, respectively. The program, led by the Consortium of Ramontowa Shipbuilding and PGZ Stocksnia Wojena, aims to complete the final vessel by 2027. The Cormoran II project is just one part of Poland's larger naval modernization strategy. The Polish Navy is currently undergoing a significant transformation, moving from a regional Baltic Sea-focused force to a more ocean-going, blue-watered navy. This shift reflects the country's evolving security needs and its broader role in international maritime operations, such as securing energy supply routes and managing extended maritime logistics. However, this transition has not been without its challenges. One of the most pressing issues is the aging of Poland's existing naval fleet. Many of its older vessels are being retired before new platforms are ready for deployment. This capability gap is particularly concerning in key areas like submarine warfare. For instance, the Polish Navy's Kobin class submarines have already been decommissioned, and the much-anticipated Orca submarine program which aims to procure ocean-going submarines with air-independent propulsion and long-range missile capabilities, has faced repeated delays. These setbacks leave Poland vulnerable to a temporary shortfall in submarine capabilities, potentially compromising its naval defense strategy in the near term. The shift towards a blue-water navy poses both opportunities and challenges for the Polish navy. Historically, Poland's naval operations have been confined to the Baltic Sea, a relatively small and shallow body of water with specific strategic needs, such as mine countermeasures. However, with the expansion of Poland's economic and security interests, particularly in the protection of maritime energy routes and participation in NATO operations, the Navy must adapt to larger, more complex missions in open waters. Building a blue water Navy will require substantial investments in new ships, infrastructure, and training. The Meeksnik Frigate Project, aimed at providing Poland with modern multi role warships, is a critical component of this transformation. However, financial and logistical challenges remain, as Poland must balance the costs of replacing aging vessels with the need to develop new capabilities that meet its expanded strategic goals. The ongoing construction of the Cormoran II-class mine countermeasure vessels represents a significant step in Poland's naval modernization efforts. These highly specialized ships are crucial for enhancing Poland's maritime security, particularly in the Baltic Sea, where mine threats remain a top concern. However, the broader transformation of the Polish Navy into a blue water force is a complex and costly endeavor, complicated by aging platforms and delayed procurement programs. As Poland continues to invest in its naval capabilities, it must carefully manage the transition period to avoid capability gaps and ensure that its navy is equipped to meet both regional and global challenges. The Cormoran II-class vessels, 
along with future frigates and submarines, will play a central role in shaping the future of the Polish Navy and its ability to protect national interests at sea.